This is my 24th year teaching. And the place where we're going today is 57 acres of wetlands that was a gift to the school. First, who can demonstrate how to properly sit in a kayak? I get a new batch of fifth graders every six weeks. And watch how the paddle hits the water. So I teach them how to kayak. Are you guys listening? How to collect specimens. Pick them up. Oop. Just give them a basic idea of how to identify something. When the sheep sediment minnows get really big, look at how orange their, their fins get. And learn a little bit about all the relationships in our local environment. We call it oceans. We learn a little bit about the native species and invasive species. A lot of these kids go to the beach have parents that fish that take them fishing. and So it's, it's information that they can use every day. How he teaches things, he teaches it very clearly. He explains everything like how we would see it. And if you drew out the water molecule, it looks like who? Mickey Mouse, it looks like Mickey Mouse. I call it the Disney molecule. It's kind of funny, but sit at like important at the same time. The Oceans program is probably the most popular class that we have here at the Intermediate Campus. They uh, relay that back to their parents. They'll do beach cleanups. They'll all have different types of activities. Whenever I used to pass water, I would just stare at it because I thought it was, whoa, pretty shiny. But now I understand that there are animals living there that need that water to survive. I've learned that like not just marine animals live around the ocean. Like Deer live out here and rattlesnakes. I haven't seen any rattlesnakes down here, but there are some. An overhand grip. But he truly has a passion for what he does, and it's, it's obvious. Watching the kids have fun and, you know, enjoying their smiling faces, yeah, I get a lot of satisfaction.